Next up, here is Shireen Bhan speaking to the Finance Minister of Bihar, Sushil Modi, on GST and the changes that we could expect going forward. No, sir, we, have, we had identified about 48 issues or functionalities and they had given a timeline and most of the issues that were required to be resolved by 20th of November, about 70% of the issues were resolved. Mm -hmm. and the remaining issues will be taken care of in the, in the coming days. So in okay. the last two months, there is a lot of improvement. And now the, uh, now the complaints are coming down. Mm -hmm. But now, uh, now we have given them a different task to GST network. How okay. to simplify the processes and procedures. Mm -hmm. So now the compliance is a big issue. Because yes. earlier the rates, uh, was, uh, uh, rates were an issue. So after this uh, Guwahati uh, meeting, I yes. think 80% of the issues related with the tax rates has been resolved. Right. So now the major issue is the uh, compliances. Now the simplification. Okay. So now the so bottom line is simplification, simplification, simplification. Okay. And, uh, so when can we expect changes as GST far as network. procedures are concerned, sir? When can we expect changes as no, far sir, as procedures are concerned and what exactly are we looking at when you talk about simplification? So regarding returns, then regarding HSN code, then regarding matching of invoices. So a committee has been constituted, constituted under the chairmanship of Mr. Pandey, Ajay, mm -hmm. Ajay Bhushan Pandey, who is chairman of yes. GST also. So mm -hmm. he will take help of... Uh, uh, GST network also and other officials and in the coming one month they will design a, a new a format which will be very very simplified so okay. uh, the emphasis is now on the simplification of the all the all kind of returns and okay. <laughs> especially this 3B GSTR1, GSTR2, GSTR3 right. then this right. composition returns so simplification hmm is the main bottom line for the coming okay. days. And I can okay. assure the dealers or traders or the businessmen that in the hmm. coming days, the process and procedures will be more and more simplified. Okay. Uh, so you're talking about simplification, Mr. Modi, but let me also ask you, sir, then, about the possibility of further ra rationalization as far as rates are concerned. The chief economic advisor, as well as several other state finance ministers, have said that there is a possibility of collapsing or converging the 12% slab and the 18% slab. Is that the way forward? What is the timeline? What can we realistically expect? See, realistically, I feel, I personally feel that, that, that it will take time. Mm -hmm. because, uh, all of, because from 1st mm -hmm. of July, GST mm -hmm. was launched. And right. more than 300 items have been reduced from one slab to another slab. And the mm -hmm. last Guwahati meeting, there was a major decision regarding more than 170 items, uh, bringing down from 20 to 18 percent. So mm -hmm. I think it will take some more time. We would like that the system stabilizes. And in the coming days, <coughs> the fitment committee, if there is any yeah. memorandum, if there is any proposal, we can mm. think about, see, I don't think, uh, because the financial year is coming to an end, yes. the first March uh, is the closing for this financial year. So I yes. think uh, in, the, in the next three, four months, we will see about the uh, buoyancy of the revenue, then about right. the rates also, how much revenue okay. we are getting. So all these things will be taken care of, and then we will so think in the next financial year. I think okay. because see, I am not talking on behalf of GST Council. I am giving my personal sure. opinion and sure. the mood of the GST Council. So for the mm. next three four months, let the system mm. stabilize, and I think 80 so percent of the issues regarding tax rates have been reduced. Okay, that was Sushil Modi, and as I mentioned.